So, you know, when we take a look at this example, we're talking about Roger weighs 233 pounds, and then the next sentence is talking about how his weight relates to or compares to his child's weight. So his weight is three pounds more than five times his child's weight. How much does his child weigh? What do we not know? What are we looking for? The x equals the child's weight. The child's weight. So you can say let x equal, equal the child's weight. You can use other letters if you want to. You could say let w equal the child's weight. You know, if you want to. Some people may just always stick with x. But sometimes having a letter like this, especially when we go to, you know, a couple of chapters from now when we have two unknowns, if you just use x and y, it may be kind of difficult. You may choose to say, let n be the number of nickels, d is the number of dimes. That way when you see n and d in the problem, you know exactly what it is, and you're not having to consult a legend. Okay, it's, you know, here's what it is. So if I let w equal the child's weight, now what I want to do here is kind of help us think about what all this means. It says his weight is, so this is, to me, sounds like it could be an equal sign, right? When it says his weight, who we're talking about? So we know that Roger's weight is or equals what? Three pounds more than, what does it mean to be three pounds more than? Three times? Or adding three to something, right? So that means at the end we're adding three to something. To what are we adding three? Five times the child's weight, right? So five times, five times the child's weight. Right, so what I have here is kind of an equation, but it's kind of still the words, right? So what is Roger's weight? His weight, Roger's weight is 233 pounds. Here's the five, and how are we representing the main unknown here, the child's weight? with a W, and then of course there's the plus three. So now we have an equation, and we know that once we have an equation, solving it is the easy part, or it should be, right? How do I solve this? Get the variable by itself, and so what's the first thing I do here? Subtract three on both sides, so what do I have now? 230 equals 5w. So to finish this, got to get w by itself. I don't want 5w's, I just want 1. So divide both sides by 5. 46. Right, when we do this, we find out that w is equal to 46. Now, what, is 46, or what does w represent? Child's weight. Child's it's the child's weight. So what we're saying here, I guess in the form of a sentence, is what? The child weighs 46 pounds. We're saying that the child weighs 46 pounds, right? Mm -hmm. W is the child's weight, and that equals 46. And make sure we understand the units here. We're talking about pounds. Does it sound appropriate for a child to weigh 46 pounds? Mm -hmm. It depends on how big, of course it does. <laughs> now see, this makes sense to me because my older son is 72 pounds. My younger son is 37 pounds. So 46 sounds, sounds plausible. Yeah, you're talking about, you know, little kid, maybe they're sixth, seventh grade, something like that. Child. What? Child. Yes, it's a child. It's like, <laughs> it says that, so I mean, obviously, child's not gonna be like 200 pounds. The it makes sense that <laughs> not, not unless this is a special edition of Mari or, <laughs> <laughs> or, or Montel. All right, so the, the child weighs 46 pounds, and that answers the question, how much does the child weigh? Montel's still Yes, he's trying to get you guys to have loans oh. at 99.75% annual percent. <laughs> I thought you referred to this as top shelf. No. So... You could easily plug this back in. You know, so let's see about Roger. If you multiply this times five, because he's basically five of his kids, five times the weight of his child plus three pounds, you're going to get to 233. 